Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special educational video we're going to be looking at the differences between a knockoff hound and the original G1. I've got two examples of an original G1 box purely because I don't have a standard Hasbro mint and seal box hound. The one on the bottom left is the Italian variant, so as I say still released officially by um, well, Takara really in gig in the early 80s, 1984. And then the one on the right hand side is one of the new knockoffs. And this again is a very, very good quality knockoff. Um, if you're looking at the box and if you're looking inside, the reason why I've had to get the mint and seal box one is there's no gold trim, gold sticker just on the top of the Jeep. If I slide over to this, and although the box isn't the greatest, the figure inside is still mint and seal box. You can see there's a gold sticker there and on the bonnet. These were factory applied stickers that obviously were put on uh, before it was sealed up. So on the knockoff, it, you're going to need really, you know, a really good picture from the from the seller who's selling you this to pick that out. Um, there's obviously no stickers there at all, so that's the main reason why I've got that there. I'm going to just quickly slide the gig one out of the way now because although he is mint and seal box, the box, as you can see, isn't the greatest. So we've got here now the two boxes side by side, and again, it's it's scary. I'm not going to lie, it's very very scary. Um, the sun. Burst is a bit bright again with the missing grid behind it so you can sort of tell there but the rest of it and obviously for display purposes it does look really good I've got even, to admit it even the numbers everything yep. is exactly they the literally same. like Simon's pointing out right now all the fonts there even this number at the very very bottom the five seven five three five seven double six assist is identical on the knockoff as well so they are getting very very good with these Comparison. We're going to turn it around to the back because there's a small difference here that will help you out and this you'll see Well, you might not see straight away so I'm just going to point it out so it doesn't take forever Ravage's foot is resting on top of the S and you can see the R for the registered trademark Now on the knockoff he's just been shifted a little higher and we've got the two R's there But otherwise again if you pan back out Unlike with the hound figure the hound figure sorry unlike with the tracks figure the tracks had a different date on the bottom corner these two both say 1984 Hasbro Bradley and then so does that so again this is a very very good quality knockoff for you to be aware of we'll just do a quick again turn to the side etc of the box the pictures are very good I think the only thing that really is standing out as you can see is the fact that the grid is a bit more predominant Probably going to get interrupted in a minute by one of my kids so if we do apologies for that and I'm going to turn it that way around again you can see that the grid for the knockoff figure on the right hand side is much much more predominant perfect let's pop these back up so as I say in summary this is again another very don't know about the toy inside Simon hasn't opened it obviously he's using it just to display and we've got there as I say the mint and seal box um, hound figure and hope this has helped you decipher whether one's an original or a knockoff and take care and keep subscribing for more